Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, just doing another video. Some league matches, about to play some right now. Um, just doing a ranked one so I can go ahead and get a booster for you guys. So we'll go ahead and see how it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mirror this new. Set him right there so we don't get hurl jumped and put uh, basically in a bad position. I'm gonna go ahead and send out his Unicliff. Uh, we are going to go ahead and send out our Metagross. We don't want any um, Psychic Neck abilities going off where they um, basically um, keep respinning. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. It's very, very annoying. So gonna go ahead and rush towards my goal again. I'm not gonna goal block, I'm just gonna jump right over him. So, we'll go ahead and see. Maybe a little risky, but that's usually how I play. I'm gonna go ahead and in turn. I'm gonna set up this round on him next um, turn. Well, I'm actually gonna send out speed for him, rush him, and make him play defense. So he did confuse me. Okay. Uh, we do have replacements, but we're not going to give them the opportunity to um, even attack our base. So the speed form—that's the one Deoxys piece I do like to use. Um, most other Deoxyses are pieces of shit. I don't like them at all. So um, very, very annoying. We we'll go ahead and attack him. Might as well. There we go. He gets the miss. We take him out, and now his left entry, uh, his left side and his right side is open to whatever I want to do. So we're going to try to maybe possibly set up a surround. Um, I don't like the confused Moltres on my base, um, so that's kind of a liability. But we're going to go ahead and see. Okay, so they did not attack me, so I'm going to go ahead and double chance this Mew and try to knock him out. So I have a 41 attack versus 30. So we're gonna hopefully spin into the good roll. And that's not gonna work. So that really is shitty. Not too happy about that one. Been playing today and this game is uh, pretty much just been shitting on me all day. So I'm not sure if I'm tilted or what. I dropped like 150 rank just from today. So, not exactly sure. I was trying out a new team as well, but I don't think I'm going to use them. I'm going to stick to my old reliable team, which is the one I'm using now. Um, I tried out another team. I had two Gyaradoses, the three legendary birds, and a Holo. Um, I mean, it was okay, but I kept running into Deoxys teams and stuff, so it was kind of putting me at a disadvantage. So, that was definitely interesting. That that Del Fox did that. Now the Del Fox needs to die. So kind of had to give him payback. I don't want him getting that close to my goal anyway. We are up on time by three seconds, which isn't a huge deal. But I'm gonna go ahead and move Metagross uh, closer to my goal just in case. So he can go ahead and he can try to move up all he wants. I'm gonna go ahead and. Yeah, let's go ahead and move Metagross first. So. Alright, could have expected that. Shut down the Zapdos. But now I have my base um, completely covered, so if my Moltres goes down, I do have the Metagross. So they're probably going to try to attack it. Um, he's not going to attack the Zapdos. Kind of smart of him because he knows he'll probably die. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to take out Mew. So um, he does have a, a Rhyperior. Rhyperior. Not too concerned about him. He's a one MP. So um, and that's exactly why he has a big uh, purple move. So now we're gonna go for the jugular. And we're gonna attack Mew. And we lose by one, so that's unfortunate. But we're gonna take speed form and we're gonna send him out against him again, so. Hopefully this time he gets the favorable roll of a psychic, I believe it is. So 
I'm gonna rush him up. He's probably going to set something down in front of me. I'm just gonna hurdle jump him um, onto his Reuniclus. And then I'm gonna attack his Mew next. So I'd rather have a Delphox than a Reuniclus. Because of that 120 is devastating. So we've got that taken out, and now we're gonna go for the goal next. He's gonna go ahead and attack my base, of course. Try to make me play defense. So I'm just gonna hit Confuser again. That's perfectly fine with me. Now it gives me a chance to. Okay. Um, yeah. The game's just gonna shit on me all day, so. I guess that's how the game's feeling. Uh, let's see. We are still up on time. I just hate playing until the end of the timer is out. That's just something I really don't like. So, not too worried about the Reuniclus at all, really. Um, encounter him with Metagross since he doesn't have the psychic ability. He's probably going to switch. He yeah. may try to hyperspace hole. I'm going to go ahead and overdrive so I can match this Reuniclus if he hits. Um, if he hits his hyper beam. Don't want to get surrounded either. Ooh. So he can take the easy surround if he wants. That's fine, I'll just get my Zapdos back. But um, I'm a very offensive player. I know sometimes you shouldn't always attack, but there we go. Rolled into the mist into the roost. So that definitely helped me. And I believe uh, with the roof, it got rid of the um, confused. Confusion, yeah, I believe so. Oops. Yep. So, pretty cool. Self healing Moltres. <laughs> but we're gonna go for that Mew next. Um, probably may not work out too good since we have purples and everything, but we're just gonna hope for a Psychic. So, we're gonna go ahead and shut down this side. Force him to put his right carrier down. And then we're gonna make some moves on him. Ooh, wow. So he does hit the hyper beam. So we're gonna try to take him out. But that's not necessarily gonna happen. Uh, let's go ahead and. We will move Mew right here. Just to toy with them. So, gotta be wary of time. I'm gonna try to trap his right barrier in so he can't go to my um, the left side of the field. Um, don't want him to take control of that. So, he's gonna try to um, basically rock wrecker me. I believe, the Moltres or attack. So he does have the favorable favorable outcome um, if he can hit it. So, and that's not gonna matter. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna threaten this round right about now. So still have cover even if I put my Metagross on the base, so not necessarily worried about that. He's gonna try to attack my knee. This is the best play for him. I'm gonna shuttle flip onto the surround. And I'm gonna dance all the way back up, apply some more pressure. Make him rethink his decisions. And if he wants to try to advance, then I'm just gonna move Mew back one space. Okay, he's not going to. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and just keep cycling Pokemon until we can win. And get the myth. So it's Mew versus Mew. His is uh, chain level twice. Mine is only chain leveled once. So he has a better outcome for Psychic. So probably there's no chance of me actually winning that one. But 
Um, if I lose Mew, I can basically bring out Speed Form. So we're going to go ahead and attack his base, just apply some pressure on him. I'm going to hit the shuttle clip. I'm going to go ahead and just seal this entry point. I don't want anything else coming over on this side. Okay. So he's going to try to surround the Zapdos. He's going to take the entry point or surround the Zapdos. And we don't want that to happen. So we're going to go ahead and... Attack, knock him out, clear up the right side. He's gonna take the left entry point right here, um, more than likely, so. I'm gonna go ahead and try to seal his entry point, too. Next turn, so I can just lock this down. He's gonna send out the Reuniclus. That's fine with me because he's going to set his right period there. I'm going to go ahead and jump over it and threaten the surround. So. He gets the miss. I'm going to go ahead and just set on his entry point. Should have attacked right there just to try to get rid of his Reuniclus. Put him at more of a disadvantage, but I just ended my turn. Sometimes it's better to play it safe, but we'll go ahead and check it out. He's got a long throw, so obviously he's going to block me, but we're going to go ahead and just keep attacking. We're going to attack this one first. He gets a confused ray, so we're going to try to pop off a roost or something. Let's see. Okay, he's gonna set the eye of the universe there to threaten this round. I'm just gonna move right here. I'm gonna attack the universe. Might as well since that place is confused. So I'm gonna get the thunder charge. So I'm actually just gonna paralyze his uh, mute. So that could definitely help us out. We are down about 25 seconds, 26 seconds or so. So we're going to go ahead and try to step this up. Forgot to uh, hit my ability, so stupid mistake right there. Wasted a turn pretty much. So probably just going to seal off the entry point. Let's see. Alright, so we got the... We paralyze on him, so we're gonna go ahead and do that, and then we're gonna try to uh, we're gonna move back down and go ahead and free up our um, entry point. So guess he's not gonna take the entry point. He's just gonna go straight for the attack. I'm gonna go ahead and flame charge him. We want um, the highest chance of a miss possible and less damage because if he gets Hyper Beam and I hit Crushing Flames, I can match him so it'll make it like a neutral turn um, as well as increase his miss chances. So that was pretty much a trap right there to try to have Zapdos fly over him. So we are confused, so we're just gonna roll into the death. So, we're gonna send speed form up right here next turn. Go for this round if he moves in his Reuniclus. Probably see this one advance right here. I guess not. So, I guess that's his mistake. 
he wants to try to get my entry points, but I'm gonna go for this round since he wants to uh, be so offensive. There we go. So now that those are sealed, we're gonna go ahead and uh, have them knock himself out right here, hopefully. Okay, there we go, there's the first one. I'm gonna set Moltres right here. So he can go ahead and try to uh, attack all he wants. Just gonna block him all day. So you get the uh, did get the uh, favorable spin to knock me out, that's fine, because his entry points are sealed now. He's going to go ahead and move in for the attack, um, but hopefully we get the favorable spin. This is basically the game. If not, I would have to gold block and then release one of his entry points. I don't want to do that, but uh, I mean, if it's going to cost me the game, I'm going to have to. So hopefully he keeps also wasting time, so that's a good sign. Um, got down to a game earlier that was, um, pretty much, there we go. So that is, uh, pretty much it. So we're probably gonna see the attack from Mew, if anything, to try to clear up, uh, the right side or the left side, or maybe even the Reunicliff. But, uh, we're gonna go for the, uh, cheese right now. I can even fly over Reina Cliffs if I, if I can, but we have them there just in case. I'm just going to mess with them, waste time. Did I already use my overdrive? Yes, I did. Now we are going to go ahead and attack. Hopefully this plays out for us, and it does. So we get in. That is gonna be the game right there. So we pretty much won. I don't believe there's anything he can do um, besides try to cover his goal and um, pretty much try to take out Zekrom, but that's gonna be almost impossible for him because his matchups are pretty bad. But either way, I mean, it's, yep, that's the game right there. So we'll go ahead and take that one home. We're gonna go ahead and place Zekrom on the field since he took it home for us so awesome win right there um i also have some boosters ready to go off right now so we're gonna go ahead and do that for you guys so i know this is kind of a long video it's a lot, a lot longer than what i normally do so thank you guys for watching if you are watching this um special shout out to canner he's always commenting on my videos and always watching them so i appreciate that much love to him go check out his channel um if you're watching this so um, we'll go ahead and pop these open. Um, we're hoping for Greninja for the upcoming grass and water deck, but um, chances of that are very slim. So let's go ahead and pop these open and check them out. So we'll go ahead and do the first one. Okay, uncommon, common, corefish, and Acacnea. Um, there's no evolution of corefish. I believe it's Crawdont is the next evolution of him. Um, so I wonder when that'll actually come into the game. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, got a Froakie, a Bell Sprout, some cubes. Let's go ahead and uh, pop this other one. So, we got a Tropius, Squirtle, Tropius, however you pronounce it. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this last booster right here. We're gonna hit the quad for you guys just because, uh, just to see if we can get anything good. I believe last time we pretty much got ripped off, but it's okay. Because um, the main point of this game is to spin your gym. So um, let's go ahead and we'll hit the quad, see if we can get anything good from it. If not, and then um, I guess we learn our lesson. Drop rates on these are usually really bad, but let's go ahead and uh, open it. Let's hope we get an EX or at least a good rare figure. So, really, really wanting a Greninja, but I'm mostly needing the materials. So, let's go ahead and open the first one. So, uncommon or common. Uh, Kabuto, I don't believe I had one. I had one a while back, but I fused him. Um, no Kabutops in this game, kind of weird. Would you 
pretty cool EX figure. So we get a pedalo. So let's go ahead and open up the next one. It's gonna be a rare. A Drapion, he's garbage, he's only one um, MP. So let's go ahead and open up this last one. So uh, I don't know what it is about this game. Um, they're just shitting on me today as far as league matches, and then anytime I open up a booster. I also um, pretty much just get shit on, so um, that's about it for today's video, guys. Just um, wanted to show you guys a game that I have set up and everything, so um, thanks again for tuning in. Special shout out again, like I said, to Canner. Um, like and subscribe to the video. Thank you so much, guys.